None of this can go to the dump today, even though that was set out yesterday. It's the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. Wait, oh. It's just like every, every porno was in the history of my childhood. We are on our way back to the house. We're just letting the trailer breathe a little. Doors open, trailer's breathing a bit. Yeah, if you want to save on dump fees, just keep it open. I guess we can tie it off though. Well, are we gonna even fill this one? Maybe. This is insane. Nope, I'm back in the way, dude. Uh, the latch, you talking about the latch at the bottom? On the very bottom, those are just gone. They were there when we left the gas station. He's behind me for all of FM4. Said it was on and closed. At some point. You could drop that dumpster here and run to Grosbeck and get another one. Or we could just call a local dumpster company and drop that one at a welding shop. I would just Google a welder or a trailer repair or something. I don't know anybody up here. Cooney Mott, he's always getting stuff over here. Okay, I'll call him and ask him. Hey, um, this dumpster has a broken latch that we have up here in Granbury. Do you know anyone? this area that does trailer repair for a welder. Dude, I don't know anything about Grand Brand. We've called down there before and we couldn't get anybody to answer the phone. I just typed in trailers and work and he talked to me about Jesus for like 45 minutes. But he called me back like two days after I needed him last time. So you might try around and just see what you can find. There's gotta be a welding shop down there somewhere. All right. There's Dark Horse Metal Works. Check it out. Let me call them, then I'll call them why. Thanks. Dark Horse Metal Works is Bob. Hey, Bob. Uh, this is Braxton. I'm here in Granbury, and I've got a uh, dumpster, like, for a dumpster trailer. And I've got the uh, latch broken off for the doors. I just wonder if y'all might be able to fix something like that. Is it just a factory latch that's broken, or is it broken welds, or what? Uh, it seems like just the factory latch, like, down at the bottom of the, the dumpster, the weld. Alright, you think it can be repaired or? Nah, they're just gone. They fell off. No, they're gone. Yep. Okay. Somewhere on FM4. Can I text you a picture or something for you to look at? Yeah, or? That'd be great. Okay. Got Texas number? Yeah, this is my cell phone right here. Perfect. It'll be, it'll be a lot cheaper on you to bring it to us. Okay. Well, let me, uh, I can text you this picture right quick. Okay. And just let me know what you think, I guess. Go from there. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks, sir. Yes, sir. Well, got a welder. I'm sending pictures to in Granberry. It's kind of amazing. It broke this weld right here. So, is it just like that plate, I guess, or something that goes yeah, on? Yeah, there's a plate with a double, double deal. And it's, I mean, you can take a picture of the other dumpster is he gonna come out here and fix it here or you got to take it to him he said he can he said it'd be way cheaper if uh we bring it in but he said he can if we'll be able to get a picture of the other one the similar apparatus this is the fix that we did that's a factory setting but they need to have a top on it oh it's just none of this can go to the dump today even though that was set out yesterday They've had ample opportunity to go through this trash. But he told me we gotta leave this sitting here for 24 hours in the dumpsters. Eat, what about that stuff? It's just gotta sit there like it is. One, yeah, once so we got in the dumpster, it's 24 so hours. We gotta come back tomorrow and haul this off. So tomorrow we get to come back, but you do need to get a tow truck out here to tag this so they can haul it off tomorrow. Do you think we just take the whole building down? Yeah and just bring it to the front. Find out, find out where that load is located. I would just let him know, say, hey, look, if I gotta take it to you, I gotta drop it. Cause even if we do get another dumpster out here, we gotta move this one out the way. I don't know where we're gonna stack it at. Part of where my truck is. What do you think the retail price of a job like this would be? If you were out talking to YouTube, not you Britain. God damn, Chuck, quit, quit no, making no. horse sounds into the damn. Let us know in the comment section if you want more horse sounds from Chuck and what you think this would cost if you were gonna pay retail. So 
So if you take it to him today, you can't fix it today. That's what he said. I'm trying to think of what all we could use to tie the doors shut. DJ's got some wire for now, but we can go get some straps. He's got to hold whatever's in this. But either way, go get it, tie your doors back shut. Can you tag this car? Okay. Here, I'll tell you how to go. I'm sure y'all are a lot like us, so I'm gonna carry tags. These right on the window. Off of it. The door's falling off. There's an extra door over there. I don't know if it's for the minivan, but y'all want help to throw it in the back seat. Who's actually in charge? Or the property owner or whatever? Yeah, we own you. It. Sign name up, sign your name underneath the bottom of it. There you go. Done. Then y'all be here tomorrow also? Yes sir. Well ha yeah, we gotta haul the rest of this shit off. This is uh no, no, no. I mean, it's just it, like anybody can walk up and grab that property over there. I promise you, not much of it's good. But they lived here up until two days ago. And this There's, is what they left? That's what was on the inside of the house. There's a bathtub full of cat shit. It's the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. So if you want to just, if you got some morbid curiosity and want to walk through the nastiest house you've ever seen, the house is going to be gone. It's all going. Cool. Good luck. Uh -huh. Put your mask on. <laughs> move this back that other dumpster in okay just same same spot same angle and then you can just pull forward and we'll get you on that one parallel and then we'll pull over and get the one that's full and set it in the driveway Braxton attempting to back a trailer again he learned fa uh, Spanish faster than he learned how to back a trailer the entire language it's funny how he like it was like he didn't know how to back a trailer and then all of a sudden he just got it yeah try something i'll be okay at it <laughs> I, I mean i just said you you learn the entire spanish language before you learned how to back a trailer <laughs> in a shorter amount of time i do it every time oh you do it he, every time we're around a real mexican i'm like say something foul to him and let's see if he can go with it <laughs> and i get he, he gets it yeah most of the time I well, you sometimes they're using that, that slang language and he's like, I don't understand why they want me to mess with their cat. Like, what is it about their cat they're trying to convey here? <laughs> I don't really understand their obsession with cats. I don't want to play with your cat. Like, <laughs> kitten, none of it. None of its lineage. It was at Brian Bruin's birthday party. There was that lady that I had to explain that you wanted to get her pregnant. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we did do that. We did do that. We did make him I'm explain that. I'm going to put a baby in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, door's open. Okay. Uh, DJ, you put the concrete culvert in there. Of course it was going to break through <laughs> the goddamn door. I would have broken oh, the well itself. Oh, Argyle. I knew that. <laughs> All right. Well, it had me confused because I seen the. I well, we seen we the actually need the concrete. We'll put the concrete on top of this. We're gonna have to get this off the trailer, even if we got to get a rental dumpster in here. We got to get this one out of the way. Do you have any idea how many of those concrete culverts you put in the dumpster? Well, there's four right there, and there's a fifth one over there. So concrete culverts back there? No, no, no. They were in this dumpster. <laughs> oh. So. Y'all stopped somewhere, uh -huh. and then you came out in a hurry. Oh, I heard it. It was green light the other time. There's a concrete culvert somewhere. You didn't see it come out? Uh -huh. Did you see it on the side of the road? I guarantee you, you slide hammered that door right off of there with a concrete culvert rolling back and forth. That would do it. I'm just breaking randomly. I mean, it would have been broken. It would have, you know what I mean? Like, it would have. Yeah. The battery would have. I don't know if we should put, put stuff in it. We'll grab this other one and move it. That um, pull $40 is all right. Do you think, do you think we go get self-tapping screws? DJ covered in grease. Oh, why did y'all grease the trailer? I didn't grease the trailer. That's, that seems like a Jacob thing. He got tired of fucking having to fight him on it. Back up on that other one. Let's 
get in that push right here. All right, DJ, push. You can get right here. All right. Pop your hood. Back there. <laughs> Real good. Just trying to run a profitable dumpster company. And we're over here breaking all the dumpsters. I really do blame DJ for putting the putting those culverts in that empty dumpster was the dumbest thing I've ever seen anybody do. What? Putting those culverts in an empty dumpster. Round concrete slabs to just roll around back there makes no sense. The tailgate shuts itself. Actually, you're gonna have to go um, <laughs> put it in reverse and back up a little bit. All right, Brian. Um, you're gonna pull forward until it's down right here. We come out here tomorrow to haul this shit off. The crackheads show up and just take all this out. Do you want that to happen or not want that to happen? I, honestly, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be impressed. <laughs> They take the culverts out and they're just uh, like... Just take everything out. It's the crackhead strength. They can just carry it. They got new <laughs> culverts and all their shit back. <laughs> Sheds are always the worst. <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah, they're probably going to be nuts back there. Dude. Yeah. Stacked up to the roof. <laughs> Move those, move those jumper cables, DJ. That was really good, Braxton. You're, you're, you're improving. That's right. How much shit's in those sheds? Have you looked? Not but a little. All right, get that. Start setting your trash out in the pile so you can grab it with the skid steer. We're gonna go get the straps. Pee in the uh, toilet? Yeah. Pee in the wall. Pee in the shower. <laughs> you know what? DJ, the pee shower. Ah, there is a pee shower. That is true. I'm gonna go shit. Right. Well, we got working on it. You know what's going to suck? After we dump it, how do you get the doors to stay shut if we cut all the straps? Maybe we take it to them and make them fix it. Full of trash, you know? <laughs> A little too much. What we got? Oh boy, them young girls. How young? Tracy Lord. Whoa. There you go. Has everything. A house, a pool, a built-in lover. Harry Reams, she needs a break. Harry Reams is the guy. So this is a VHS. Hey. Uh-oh. Oh, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Dude. This is going home with me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a working VCR in here. Y'all find it. It's just like every every porno was in the history of my childhood. Blank? If you saw a blank VHS, you knew. Nah. You knew. <laughs> it says a license number on it. Well, very interesting. DJ, stop getting so close to it, dude. Oh, fuck that. A sex odyssey? No, 2002, a sex odyssey. The titty, the titty committee, the <laughs> ex-terminator, beyond desire. Boy, we done hit some fucking gold. I'm about to go Google that shit. It is six hours of quality bootleg porno right here. Oh. We might have made some money. These are comic books. Oh, this is the Ninja Turtles. These were kind of in rough shape though, but I think this is the money. Dude, fucking this is man. like sick. Dude, keep that. Is this a cheap book? No, those are just like, they used to just put those out, like Ninja the Nintendo. Power. Hulkamania 4, boys. Hulkamania 4 is somewhere in here. Whoa. That's sick. It's just pornos and wrestling and... And video games. And some Pokemon uh, paraphernalia. <laughs> Not really anybody for this. That's got some... Is that your dick up my ass? <laughs> Anal stars. 
Ooh. Isn't there another ship? Yeah, there's like two more, dude. No, is it really? I think so. I could be wrong. People are so nasty. Like, they bought this house six years ago, filled this building with household garbage. Probably that's what that is in there. I don't remember these buildings being on the property when we sold it to them, but maybe they were. Found those stack of porn. <laughs> feels a little bad for us but i don't know maybe we could call in a bomb strike here like mm. an airstrike incinerate the whole I, i've honestly been wondering about the legal repercussions of not getting a real possession and if they are less severe than having to stack trash in dumpsters in the front yard so whatever crackhead used to live here could that possibly has enough money to afford attorney to come at you and sue for all this totally no do you do you realize the literal dumbassery this is they we gotta leave the trash in the dumpster in the front yard so they can come pillage through it for 24 hours like they couldn't pillage through it right here the clock doesn't even start on the 24 hours i guess until the last dumpster's full until we leave no until the last dump until all of this shit's in the front yard like it really makes a difference Every other constable on planet Earth would say this is readily available to them. It it's to not locked inside of a house. They can get to it. See you later, Bob. You'll have a nice day. And even when it's everything, all the house contents, it seems like it's always like, you have to wait 24 hours. I'm leaving right now. Sometimes. Sometimes I'll wait for you to set it out. I mean, like the one in Haltom City, the guy was like, that's all trash. I'll see you all later. Don't worry about that. This is, this is ridiculous. I wonder what the liability. Like, why do they hold out for it? Do they, are they responsible for it somehow? Can they get in trouble? Fired. I don't think so. No, I don't think anything can happen. I think you would win this. Makes them less electable if they're someone stuff away. I don't think so. I, I, I just think they're reading some law and going to the extreme level of it and probably get paid more to sit in that truck and idle it than they do doing something else. You know Not what I mean? Discretion or choice on their part. I don't know. Could be coming from, well, it is coming from their boss. But you, you realize the absurdity of it as well because we're using equipment and tearing it Yeah, if it they're all okay off. with this, why can't we haul it off? Like, why can't we just, you know, do whatever with it? Light it on fire. It's like, they don't actually think this is saving it. Oh, it's not saved. It's a big ass pile. Jacob, we broke everything. You see what DJ did to your uh, dumpsters? Yeah, he told me they broke the, he showed me. Yeah, but did tell you how? Those culverts rolled out and hit it. DJ put those culverts in an empty dumpster. <laughs> and thought, yeah, 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 we'll just let them roll around, beat, bang. And then Braxton drove, I don't know, I don't know where all he drove with that shit. All over the place, I presume. Circled Dallas a couple times. Dropped them. So it slide hammered the that gate off so everything's broke and loaded we can drive the road that it was uh dj you tell the damn constable we're done we can drive the road it was broken on if we don't find the cold oh might not have been a cold it was definitely a fucking cold yeah they just break <laughs> yeah i mean they just <laughs> randomly vibration. i mean look at look at how this one's welded on there vibration got it like it's welded along the top and along the bottom hey you can see the welds that broke over there this whole piece of tubing came off. that's welded all the way around that came off. They probably have broke that off before and said, you know, and just tack it right back on it. <laughs> probably. Won't. But either way, we got ratchet straps on it right now, Jake. Oh, wow. It's a nice three. Four ratchets. We wrapped it a lot though. Oh no, it's it, it's done. <laughs> It's wrapped. I mean, it might need a whole new gates when it's done, but at this juncture, the biggest problem you're gonna have is, you cut, a knife. <laughs> you're gonna have to take your own ratchet strap with you, because you're just gonna cut those and let those fall in the dump. 
Yeah. And then dump. They're done. And then put your new ratchet strap on down the road. But this one will dump just fine. And it's only got the four culverts in the front. But we've already moved it from right here to right there. And the culverts, they did just fine. If you enjoyed this video, please, for the love of God, let us know in the comment section. Also, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you know every time a new one drops.